Hi right, everybody, welcome to Nationals Park in D.C. Welcome to Philly Baseball here on the Video Game Network. Tonight, the Phillies and the Washington Nationals. Phillies won last night's game. And trying to win this one here. Now taking the field in the second game of a three-game series. Phillies trying to go for their third straight win here. The first place in the NL East. Cliff Lee and Jordan Zimmerman, you see their numbers on your screen. Zimmerman looks to get his second win while Hamels looks to get his fifth win of the season. Ryan Sandberg. And there's the lineup for the Phillies with Rivera, Utley, Jordan, Howard, Ruff. Xavier Paul, Salvador Perez, Andres Blanco. And I'll go up against Jordan Zimmerman, who was one in three. And the leadoff will be Ben Rivera. He's in there again with a 12 game hitting streak. Batting 262 overall with 15 RBIs. Good crowd on hand here in Nationals Park. And Rivera fouls off the first pitch, 0-1. First pitch, four oh five. Four oh five start here for this one. One and one. Way inside and into the back. Stop. One ball and one strike. Rivera keeps his hitting streak at 13. So Ben Rivera extends his hitting streak at 13 games. He leads off the game with a base hit the right field. And he'll bring up Chase Utley, batting at 277. One ball and no strikes. Rivera, eight stolen bases this season. Now it's up there, two balls and no strikes. Utley, this is a double play ball. Two outs. Made off the inning with a base hit. And then Utley grounds into a double play. Here's Brandon Jordan batting at 302. Phillies have it hit. The home run ball, as much as they did the year before, Brandon Jordan still stuck on four home runs. He said he will be hitting at least 10 or 15 as of late, but he has not. As he's looking to hit a home run, get back on the home run track. No balls and one strike. Jordan fouls it. Upping it two. One, two. Ball on two strikes. <laughs> Phillies go down after the double play by Utley. The Nationals will back bottom of the first. Here is the Nationals lineup with Bernard Spann and Kevin DeFrance and Jason Worth, Rendon, Ramos, Silverman, Ian Desmond, and Bryce Harper. Your attention, this for the A 
Adrian Beltre will come in to play third base. They usually do that in the game, make a change early in the game, and Beltre will play third base here. Here's Denard Spann. Span takes the ball, one ball and no strikes. Got that over, one and one. Man, hits a fly ball to right field. Brandon Jordan puts it away for the first out. Cliff Lee's numbers, scouting report. It's Kevin Franzen batting at 272. Strike to Franzen. Lee, a quick worker. Two strikes. Inside, one ball and two strikes. Ground to Utley goes over to Howard for the second out. It's Jason Worth batting at 285. Ball with no strikes. Two balls and one strike. No. Three and one. Anthony Rendon waits on deck. Count the worth. Pass Lee and in the center field. And Jason Worth is on with two outs. Right down the middle. Goes past Lee, hits the mound, and gets in the center field. There's Anthony Rendon. Takes a strike, 0 and 1. Rendon batting at 274. Still 0 and 2. Right 
Jones skies at the left field. That's well hit. Paul going back, can't get it. Bounces off the wall. Worth rounding third, being waved home. The throw home is not in time. And the Nationals take a one to nothing lead on an RBI double by Anthony Rendon. That ball was pretty well hit. Paul went back and could not get it. Here's Wilson Ramos batting at 292. He's two for his last 14. He does have a 292 batting average. That's the 11th RBI from Rendon this season. Excuse me, his 11th double of the year. No balls and two strikes. That is to Utley. Fires over to Howard for the out. That'll end the inning, but the Nationals get a run in the inning. On Rendon's RBI double. Go to the second, the Nationals lead by one. Here's Ryan Howard. He's batting at 151. The first baseman, number six, Ryan Howard. He has struggled at the plate as of late. And Howard fouls it. They put the shift on. Howard's 35 years old. Howard, that is a foul ball. The upcoming broadcast of Phillies baseball will include tomorrow's game will be on UPN. And then Memorial Day against the New York Mets at City Field back on the video game network. There is a strikeout. They'll bring up Adrian Beltre. Beltre batting at 275. He's batting 349 on the road with three home runs and 15 RBIs. So he's batting better on the road than at home. One ball and no, no balls and one strike. Beltre still stuck on home run 399. One, one. As at the Phillies, uh, last in the league in home runs, they don't hit a lot. That's kind of surprising. I don't know what they have done in recent years. No, that's outside. Ball. But the way these Phillies hitters are, they're not giving the hitters a lot to hit. And exactly, if Jordan doesn't get on base or Howard doesn't get on base. It makes it very difficult. Three, one. Three balls and one strike. Xavier Paul is next. That's and Beltre draws a walk. So he's on base with one out for Xavier Paul, who's batting at 311. Xavier Paul. Paul's playing time has increased. Takes a strike, no balls and one strike. One and one. One and one. They would say Monday's Memorial Day game will be a TV radio simulcast, so we will call the game like it's actually on radio, but you can see it on Video Game Network because it's a radio. TV simulcast, like it's on a radio because of the simulcast. Wait. 
Paul fouls it two and two. Little topper past the catcher. Throw on the second. Safe, safe at first. And we'll see how they score it. The catcher, number 13, Salvador Perez. That was a pretty tough play by Ramos. They will score in an error nonetheless. Kevin Francis pulled off the bag and will bring up Salvador Perez. Phillies have two on and one out. One ball and no strikes. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Runner goes, a double steal is going to be a base hit. The Phillies are going to tie the game. They might take the lead. Here, it will take the lead. The Phillies take the lead two to one here in the second inning. As both Beltre and Xavier Paul crosses the plate. It was a double steal attempt and two runs end up scoring. The Phillies take a two to one lead on a two run single by Salvador Perez. And here's Andres Blanco. And he goes and that ball is handed in the left center field for Denard Spann, and there's two outs. Now uh, bring up Cliff Lee, batting at 182. Inside. Ball and no strikes. Two strikes now in the lead. Lead fouls it. Inning over. Phillies do take the lead. Salvador Perez, a two-run single. Phillies lead it two to one as we go to the bottom of the second. You're watching Phillies baseball on the Video Game Network. Here's Ryan Zimmerman batting at 224. Hits one in the air to right field. Jordan with the out. The catch. That's the first out. Here's Ian Desmond. The shortstop batting at 257. That's the ball. One ball, no strike. Busy out in right field. That's two outs. It's Bryce Harper.
Harper on to Utley. After that. And he's over. Go to the third, the Nationals go in order. It's two to one, Philly. There's Ben Revere. He singled in his first at bat. Been in his hitting streak Number two. to 13 ben games. Revere. One ball and no strikes. Later on, you can catch game two of the Eastern Conference Finals between the Cavs and the Pacers on Video Game Network. As the bear flies in the center to the north span is Chase Cutley, one out here in the third. No balls in one strike. Fires over the first for the out. There's Brandon Jordan. Struck out his last time up. One ball, no ball and no strikes. Nothing. Bring it a minute. Three and oh, Howard waiting on deck. Let's go, Nationals. Jordan in the center field. Bernard Span. That's the final out for the Phillies. And they go in order. We go to the bottom of the third. Two, not two to one, Phillies. Here's Jordan Zimmerman. Leading on for Washington. Catcher. Jordan. Zimmerman batting at 0 77. That's a ball. One ball and no strikes. Well. One and one. One ball, one strike. Here we go. Foul is one ball and two strikes. Another foul, one and two. to the count. Two and two. Go, 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 go. Zimmerman doing well at the plate against Cliff Lee. Here we go. Full count. Now the count runs full. Denard Span waits on deck. Picture. Something that Lee didn't want to do. Here's the Nard Span. He's up for one. Ball and no strike. Lee having trouble finding the strike zone here in the third inning. You got that over for a strike, two balls and one strike. Two balls and two strikes.
Full count now on Span. So Lee in danger of walking his second straight batter. Franzen waits on deck. Hammered to right, but it's going to go foul. And Bernard Spann, that's going to drop. Zimmerman stops at second, Spann at first. And the Nationals have two on. Their first two men on base here in the third with nobody out is Kevin Franzen. He's 0 for 1. Warm-up jacket on. And that is caught by Utley. So a big out for the Phillies there, and they'll bring up Jason Worth. He scored the run in single, and his last at bat. Strike the worst. <laughs> Worth skies at the left field. Paul going back, can't get it. Bounces off the wall, one run scored. Here goes the second run, the throw to the plate, span. Out at home plate. The Nationals tie the game. But the Nard Span is out at home plate. Jason Worth will get a double out of that, and it's a two to two game. Here's Anthony Rendon, and that is one ball and no strike. That's the fifth double of the year for Jason Worth. Well to the right, here's the first pitch. Yeah. On the corner at the knees, 0-1. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And you can see both guys bringing it pretty good in this one. 95 on one hand, 92 on the other. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And set to stand in, a guy who seems to get better with age, the dangerous Adrian Beltre. Big slow breaking ball that drops in for a strike to start him out. It's nothing and one. Oh, that is a nice pitch right there. You kind of slow it down and give him that big breaking ball to start off the at bat. Make sure he's not a guy that's looking to ambush that first pitch fastball. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Two runs on two hits and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Ready with another 0-2. And Beltre wisely lays off that one, one and two. 
Could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch. Now you've kind of established that high sight level. Could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball. And the pitch. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Boy, and he's come out with a plan against these hitters, and he's executed that plan to perfection here early on. That's seven in a row now he's sent down. Xavier Paul will step in. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. First pitch coming. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. I tell you, he's got a good pace, a good tempo to him out there right now. Pitch on the way. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0 and 2. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Mm. 94 on the outer edge. Can't help but take that. Yeah. Now the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Phillies down in order. On to the bottom of the fourth, this game's tied at 2-2. Back with Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian. Here is it's Wilson Ramos that gets set to lead off the Nationals half of the inning. Here's the first offering. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball game. Here comes the 1 0. And this is a fastball that's right on the black but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Hitters count 2 and 0. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Not the best of starts to this fourth inning. Go home, Cliff. Now the 3 0 pitch. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's 3 and 1. Here he comes on 3-1. And that misses for ball four to lead off walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. And in a tie ball game, you don't want to be giving these guys free base runners to start the inning. He's going to need to bounce back from that front. Ryan Zimmerman will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Now the first pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Yeah, and that's the swing of a guy hoping for a first pitch curveball right there. If he gets it, he hammers it. If not, he's about three feet too late. 2-2 Two -two is our score. Leadoff man aboard at first here with nobody out. Lee Ruddy with the 0-1. One and one. Yeah, he didn't seem to do him any favors with the previous batter. And now here's another call that goes against him on the mound. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. Tag applied by Utley, and he is out at second base. Well, that's kind of what makes the hit-and-run play such a gamble. 
You can see right here on show track, this ball's not even in the strike zone. So once the guy at the plate can't make contact, that runner is hung out to dry. One out, nobody on. Here's the one, two. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Sets the 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a shot back up the middle. And no shot that time for Rutley. It's by him in the center for a base hit. And now you just start to wonder, how much is the heat taken out of this guy? You see the pitch count. It's not all that bad just yet, but he's been in and out of trouble a few times already. So he's definitely had some max effort innings. Ian Desmond try it again. He flew out his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And there's a fastball from Lee to start him out. It's 0-1. He's set. Now the pitch. Driven nicely into the gap, and it's going to get down and should be extra bases. Zimmerman will take the turn at third and head for home. He is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Yeah, now in hindsight, you could have had runners at second and third with one out, but they roll the dice. They're trying to pick up that run from first, and it winds up not working out for them. Here's Bryce Harper now. Here we go. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. And now you've got a base open here with the pitcher on deck. Is this a workaround situation? I think absolutely. With two outs here, no sense in giving this guy anything to hit if you can pitch to the pitcher instead. Now the 1-0 pitch. Here's another line drive out to left center field, and this two is going to find the alley for extra bases. And the go-ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's three to two. Well, I gotta tell you, I love the way this guy just lets it rip. Ahead in the count, behind in the count. It really doesn't matter to this guy. He's just gonna go up hack it. And he drives in a run right here as he just drills this one for two bases. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Into the box, Jordan Zimmerman. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. So the three straight hits have that man right there perhaps assessing his options. Three straight two-out hits, too. That makes any move a little more complicated. Here's Lee now on 1-0. and oh. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Nationals get a run on the double by Bryce Harper. We're through four, and Washington's taken a 3-2 lead. Salvador Perez will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Salvador Perez. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. But this will land untouched. Here it comes. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. The pitch. And a fastball there is inside as that one backed him up a bit. Well, nothing wrong with that. As much as it pains me to say, the pitchers have the right to work inside. Here comes a 1-2. And a bouncing ball foul. Here's another one, too. 
And oh, look out! Up and in and nearly took his head off. Can't imagine guys like that too much. Yeah, not too much indeed. You start getting into the danger area when it's up and in that eye. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, right now, that fastball has been so good. He really hasn't needed any of his secondary pitches. Another good heater there. Into the box now, Andres Blanco. As this is pot foul behind the plate, it's strike one. Now the pitch. Ball oh. one. Well, you know, things have gone his way more often than not so far this afternoon, but he certainly didn't get any help on that one. The 1-1 home. Now a swing and a ground ball. Throw gets him, two down. Cliff Lee will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. First pitch to him. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Well on his way to another good inning right here. And you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. Here's the one oh. Two and oh now. Well, you know, sometimes it's that natural tendency to let up just a little bit when you're facing the opposing pitcher. You know he's not going to do much damage. But you got to get refocused here because you do not want to go 3 and 0 to him. Now a hard liner towards short, but this won't get by the shortstop as he's there to take it in for the third out. Another look as he goes way up to get that one at short. More coming up from Nationals Park in just a moment. So it's back to the top of the order now. And standing fourth is the left-handed hitting Denard Spann. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Cold strike at the letters, 0-1. Well, you can tell he's trying to work that pitch away, but he might have left that one a little more over the plate than he intended. Come on. Here's the pitch. Cold strike 0-2. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. The 0-2 now from Lee. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Three twos our score here in inning number six. Two, two. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They're down three to two. Kevin Slowey will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Number 59, Kevin Slowey. Wilson Ramos step in to start things for the Nationals. He'll be followed by Ryan Zimmerman waiting on deck. Now a left-hander up and throwing in that Philly bullpen. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1-0. Now here's the pitch. Ooh, and he finds his spot there, one and one. You have to figure that sinker's going to be an important pitch for him here this afternoon. No question about it. Obviously, it's his ground ball pitch, so if you're a hitter, you're going to need to make him bring that pitch up a bit. 
And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1 home. Can't connect there. It's 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, that pitch is still up a little bit, but at least this one was out on a corner. But I don't think I'd want to be making a living up there too much. The 2-2 two -two coming. Here's Beltre. Throw on to first in time, one away. Ryan Zimmerman will come forward now. He has flied out and singled so far. Now some movement out in the Phillies bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. Bases are empty, one man out. The 1-0 home. Off the plate again, 2-0 now. Two times here they've gone away, both pretty easy takes. And as a hitter, now I'm thinking it might be time they try to bust something inside. Swing and a miss. Might have got a piece, actually. It's 2-1. and one. Yeah, you know, 2-0, and oh, even if you get your fastball, it doesn't mean you should be automatically swinging. He's probably fortunate he didn't make contact with that because that was in a perfect spot. Now the 2-1 pitch. Here we go. Out in front here is Zimmerman as this will find the seats in left, a foul ball. 2-2 pitch on the way. Slice down the line at first. And he'll take this to the bag himself, and there are two away now. And I just think this is one of those swings where you just get committed a little bit too early. By the time he realized this thing was going to break out of the strike zone, it was just a little too late to hold back. Ian Desmond will dig in one for two to this point in the ball game. First pitch coming. Oh, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. Three up, three down for Washington, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Seventh inning. Beltre leads it off for the Phillies. And it's a strike. Zimmerman has thrown 85 pitches. One ball and one strike. Ball. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. See you later, Phillies. Quick. Okay, fouls it. So the count is two and two. Another inside pitch, Beltre fouls off. Nice pitch by Zimmerman as he gets Beltre. Here's Xavier Paul, who's 0 for 2. Zimmerman has calmed down since the second inning. He's just mowing him down. A ball in one strike. And Paul gets this ball. Well, it's going to be a tough play. And he got him. Good play by Desmond to get Paul. Paul is not a fast runner. Two down, and they'll bring up Salvador Perez. Perez is one for two with a single and knocked in two runs. He knocked in the two only runs that the Phillies had today. One strike to Perez.
Two strikes on Perez. Two strikes. Yeah. Caught looking. <laughs> Zimmerman mowing them down. Seventh inning stretch here strike. in DC. Three to two Nationals. And Ryan Sandberg is going to make a double switch here. Jake Diekman will be the new pitcher, 1-0, and o, in a 0.44 yard run. Dominic Brown will come in for Salvador Perez and play left field. There's Bryce Harper, and there's no balls in one strike. So Cliff Lee gives up three runs in today's game. Still a one-run game. Let's go, Nationals. Come on. Beats a foul. Bryce Harper knocked in the go-ahead run for the Nationals in the fourth inning. Hits it on the ground, a block up. One out. Your attention. And it'll be a pinch hitter to be bring up Danny Espinosa. So Zimmerman's night, well, his day is over. So it'll be up to the Nationals bullpen from here on out. Espinosa takes low for a ball. One ball and no strikes. Espinosa batting at 316. Two balls and no strikes. It's a foul, two and one. And on the ground, a block, though. Two out. Is Bernard Spann, who is one for three, single. Billy's trying to win their third straight game. One strike. Off the Digman and in the center field. Second time the ball hit off the mound. And hit off the mound earlier with Cliff Lee. Kevin we'll bring up Kevin Franson. Beekman <laughs> gets this one. And that'll end the bottom of the seventh. Nationals get a hit. They leave one left. We go to the eighth. Nationals lead it three to two. Your attention, please. Here's Casey Jansen. Two and one with a 3.97 ERA. 17 strikeouts and seven walks. Drew storing up. 
in the Nationals bullpen. So he'll be the closer if the Nationals hold on to this 3-2 lead. One strike to Perez. Owen to the parade. Perez hits it in the air to left field. One out. Here you see the line scores on both pitches. Zimmerman with nine strikeouts. Lee did not have any. He pitched five innings, gave up eight hits. Zimmerman with two hits. So here's Dominic Brown batting at 233. He has eight home runs. He leads the Phillies with home runs. So he is the Phillies leader in that department. And a foul here, and there's no balls in one strike. Trouble swinging the bats. And the troubles continue. It's Ben Rivera. He's one for three. He did extend his hitting streak to 13 games. But at this point, you don't want him to get on base here for the Phillies. They have a chance in this one as the Nationals been mowing the Phillies down. There's a foul. Salvador Perez knocked in the only Phillies runs, and that was a two-run two single in the second inning. But after that, the Phillies, their bats have been silent. Here we go, two balls and two strikes. Rivera hits this one, barehanded, what a play. We go to the bottom of the eighth, Phillies trail three to two. Is Jenner, Jamar Gonzalez in his third game, three strikeouts, four innings, a 4.50 ERA is Jason Worth. He doubled in single. Freitas is up in the bullpen now. Inside for a ball, one ball and no strikes. This game was going to be a high scoring game. As we saw early on in the second, his Rendon, he fouls and no balls and one strike. Actually, the Nationals had a chance to add more runs with some great defense by the Phillies outfielders. One one. Keep the score where it is at three to two. But the Phillies have only had two hits in the game. That was Rivera and Perez, and that was in the first and second inning. Ever since then, Billy's been mowed down in order. Drive ball, right field. Jordan 
won't get this one. Gonna bounce off the wall. They're gonna test his arm. Throw on the second, not in time. Howard covering second on that one. Anthony Rendon with a double. Here's Wilson Ramos. Rendon at second, one out. One ball and no strike. Phillies will have Utley, Howard, and Beltre to lead off the ninth. And on the ground, runners going to advance out at first base to Rollins. Here's Ryan Zimmerman. That's a strike. strike. Gomez trying to get out of this inning unscathed. One ball and two strikes. He can see his way out if he can get a final strike. He does. He struck him out. Nationals are retired here in the bottom of the eighth. We head to the ninth. Last chance for the Phillies. They trail three to two. Here's Drew Storen. He'll come into the game and try to close this one out for the Nationals. 0-1, a 3.12 ERA, six saves. Eight and two-thirds innings, two walks, and six strikeouts. Here's Chase Utley. Got Tanner Wart in the bullpen for the Nationals. Utley trying to get on base here. Phillies have not had any base runners since the second inning. No balls and one strike. Just foul on the first base side. Oh. Utley gets a base hit to right field. So finally the Phillies have a base runner since the second inning. He's a leadoff base runner in the ninth. And Brandon Jordan will bat with nobody out. Howard and Beltre wait on deck. And now they're going to use Freddie Galvez as a pinch runner. Jordan walked in the sixth. So the Phillies did. They did have a base runner. They haven't had a hit since the second inning. But they've had base runners. We'll clear up that typo there. Here's Jordan. That is a strike. Right. 
Two and one. Big spot here for the Phillies. Here in the ninth inning. Sure, and Skies is on the right field. Didn't get a whole lot on it. Jason Worth will put it away. One out here in the ninth. Ryan Howard will bat. He's 0 for 3. Struck out twice. Howard's really struggling. He would love to get a big hit here. Beltre waiting on deck. One and one. Side, two balls and one strike. That's a ball. Outside. Outside, three and one. Beltre waiting on deck here. Howard. Two on, one out. First time in the game Howard's been on base. And Phillies had the tie and run at second base. And Chase Utley, here's Adrian Beltre. He walked and scored the run. Pitches high for a ball. But when you had a harder to order up, it's very tough. So you try to pitch around them a little bit. That's why the Phillies is on that lineup, but they need to get something done here. They're in a good spot, but can they get the run home? Foul behind the plate. One ball and two strikes. Fly ball, right field, bringing it hard. It's going to chop for a base hit. Runners will hold at third base. As that ball hung in the air, but it finally dropped in the shallow right field for a base hit. Galvis at third, Howard at second, and Beltre at first. One out. And Jeff Francois will be the pinch hitter in this one. Base is loaded, one out. One ball and no strikes. He tried to squeeze, play that, they got to steal home. It is out at home play, they went for the squeeze play. Galvis was already running. And Galvis is out trying to steal home. Oh, man. It can't get any worse. If Frank Crow would have got the bunt down, runner is still at second and third. So it's still one wall and one strike. Now it's one and two. And Storing can see his way to a save. 
Oh, man. Got him. Unfortunate. Phillies with the bases loaded in the ninth. Davis was thrown out, trying to steal home. Uh, attempt to squeeze play went wrong. Nationals hang on to win it by the score of three to two. Jordan Zimmerman will pick up the win. Be his second win of the season. Seven innings, gave up two hits, struck down nine and walked two. Anthony Rendon with an RBI. Ben Reveal extends his hitting streak to 13 games. And the Nationals win it by the score of three to two. Thurman, the player of the game for the Nationals. Great game he pitched. And a good day for the Nats. Nationals win it 3-2. Our next broadcast will be on UPN 57. Phillies wrap up a three-game set against the Nationals. We will talk to you then. For our entire crew, Brandon G saying goodbye for now.